We got King Cage, Devontae Smith, back here on the program. Of course, he's going to be making his UFC debut against Julian Arosa at UFC Fight Night 139 on November 10th. King Cage, how are you, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm fighting next week. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. I know we had uh, talked about this, obviously, when you won on Contender Series. Now it's finally here. But uh, I know this might not be the most ideal situation. You wanted to fight John Gunther. They booked him. I know there was another name that was supposedly out there uh, who's still on this card. Um, I guess you're just happy to be on this card because you always knew you were going to be on the Denver card, right? Yeah, no, it was getting to a point that we were going to actually scratch it. It was actually the last day, which was, uh, what was it, Tuesday. Last Tuesday, if we did not get a name, we were going to scratch Denver and just work towards something else. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you're allowed to, to say who uh, it sounded like you were supposed to fight. I don't know if that's still under wraps or not, but there's a guy that's on this card that it looked like you were going to be matched up against him, but instead uh, he's fighting someone else. How, how surprised were you when that happened? Well, seeing at the level and that he was at, I, would have, I was very surprised. I would have thought he would have jumped at the opportunity to fight a debuter. You know, maybe he would have seen me as an easy win, uh, you know, easy cash. So I was excited once he told me who he was and how high he was ranked. And, you know, I looked at some tape. I'm like, I know I could beat this guy. So since he uh, declined that offer, I mean, we had to look for someone else. Yeah, no, he did. And uh, I don't think it's hard to figure out who else is on this card and who's fighting uh, someone else that's making their debut. But we'll just leave it at that. Um, now, uh, this, so, so you find out that you're fighting Julian. When did, when did you find out? Because it seemed like this sort of just came out, uh, you know, fairly recently. Uh, seriously, like I said, last uh, Tuesday, um, my coach was like, if we didn't get a fight uh, at the end of class in the practice, that we're going to go elsewhere. And um, when I went to practice and we got done with the, I think, was Tuesday. We just got done with Jits. I walked up to the coach while he was in the cage. I'm like, hey, so like, we wait until like 12 o'clock next day or like, so what, like, can I go and eat and go do my thing? He just, you know, relax a little bit. And he was like, well, we're going to, I'm going to check my phone after uh, practice. We'll see. And I just checked my phone and I seen that uh, my manager, Jason House, hit me up and I called him back. And he was like, hey, bro, where's Mark? Uh, I need to talk to him. Uh, 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 I got a, I got a fight. Everybody keeps turning me down. Uh, I finally got a guy named Julia Rosa. I didn't care. I just said bring him. And um, he, we, we wanted to see. We, we let the coach decide in a sense. You know, uh, is this the fight he wanted me to take? Because you know, I'm a, I have the fighter's mentality to a certain extent. Like I mean, it's my debut. You know, mm. throw it my way. I don't care who it is. They're gonna get this work. And I told the coach, after looking over a couple of tapes, like, coach, I can beat him. You know, I even put it on Instagram, like, just put me in the game, coach. Like, I, I got this. And uh, he hit me up, I think, uh, a little later that night. He was like, uh, uh, I'm going to let you know by tomorrow. And I was, like, really nervous. Like, I hope this guy, well, I manifest this guy didn't get cold feet. Like, once he started really looking me up, like, ooh, do I really want to do this? And um, I think it was the next day he said, like, I told him it's a go. And I was like, yes, like I'm, I'm good on weight. I'm, I've been training for a fight, so I didn't really have anything specific that I've been working on. I've just been working on everything, getting better with my kids, my wrestling, my, my stand-up, my fighter IQ. And this is just a great opportunity to be in, we'll say, my second home, Denver, Colorado, or Inglewood, Colorado, and, you know, show out. It is, what is the 25th anniversary for the UFC? So I believe it's just a it's 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 a it's a great opportunity. So I'm just ready to put on the show to get this win. The other interesting thing about this fight is that Julian recently signed with Iridium, which is the same management group as yours. Uh, did Jason say anything about hey, I'm gonna stay out of this a little bit just because both you guys are both represented by Iridium Sports? Well, uh, he didn't really want to he didn't really want to do it, so the truth, because he's not in the business to you know do stuff like that, and I understand. But at the end of the day, it. it Julian is the one who accepted the fight. Julian is the one who said he wanted to fight me. You know, uh, I felt slightly bad. Like, you know, I felt like I was putting Jason in the predicament that, you know, I wasn't, but I just felt bad because I know Jason's a really good guy. But, you know, much respect to Julian, but he sees this as an opportunity to get into the UFC. And, you know, what's his name? Uh, Rashad Evans fought his friend... uh, What's that guy name? Uh, cool friends, and they fought for the UFC. It was like a, a whole controversial thing about. 
Uh, well, he fought Jones. I mean, that that forced Rashad to leave uh, to leave Jackson Wink, right? Yeah, yeah, that too. Um, who's the guy John Jones broke his who broke his toe on? Oh, Chell Sonnen. Yeah, was it Chell Sonnen that Rashad Evans fought Chell Sonnen? And they were like really good friends. I, it could be, yeah, yeah. That that sounds right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you know, sometimes stuff like this, things like this happens. But again, I see this as Julian sees this as a great opportunity to get in the UFC. So I mean, for him to accept the fight and knowing, obviously, he knew before I did. No, we we're all a part of the same uh, management crew. Didn't matter to him, so why should it matter to me? And, and this has happened with Iridium before. Uh, Terry on Ware and Cody Stamen fought each other in their UFC debuts, and they're both managed by Jason. So, uh, it, you know, it's, it's just the nature of the business that there are going to be uh, paths that cross, right? So it happens. Um, how's training camp right now? Because uh, there's so many of your teammates on this card, and there's just a lot of fights in general. I, I You know, we just found out yesterday Brandon Royville is going to be fighting for the LFA title uh, the night before. So what's the morale like right now at Factory X? Um, Everybody's just happy. Everybody's ready to, like, get this work in. I think it was last week uh, Anthony Smith fought, and we just had, like, a, a Anthony Smith in court, McGee. We just had, like, uh, pretty much the whole team won that whole week. And, you know, everybody on on the squad for this week, we just ready to keep the keep the trend going, you know. Uh we got Macy, uh I believe Mark, uh Brandon not fighting the UFC but he fighting for LFA, which is the big thing he's fighting for the title. Uh Mike was in is it Trukovich or Trevich? Tr- Trezano, yeah, I know stopped in and, and trained with you guys because he's fighting Luis Pena or Luis Pena. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool guy. Um I'm fighting on the car. Everybody's just ready to put on for Factory X. And um, like I said, keep the trend going. How good is Macy Barber? Because, uh, you know, we've seen her in Contender Series and LFA. You get to work with her a lot. She's only 20 years old. Uh, she seems like quite the talent. Yeah, she, she's great. Uh, they got a joke going around when, uh, because I was far in court, right? And he kicked me in my leg and it messed my leg up. Like I was sore for like a day or two. And I sparred, uh, I flowed with uh, Macy, like, right after. And she kicked my other leg, but she had no shin guards on, so my leg was sore. But the one that Court did was a lot worse than what she did. But everybody was going to run, you know what I'm saying? Macy took my leg down. So, yeah, so now when she be seeing me, she be, like, flinching at, jumping at me and stuff. So, you know, but she's a, she's a really good character, really fun person to be around. She always throws shade at me. She thinks it's funny. But she's a really cool person, so I like I like that she's on the team, and I'm glad I met her. Uh, speaking of bumps and bruises, a good segue to my next question, uh, recovery. I, it seems like the, the relationship with you and Turpos has worked out great. I always see you using the CBD oil. How's all that going, uh, getting to use all those products uh, for training camp? Uh, great, especially when you get uh, banged up and all the rolling around and, all, you know, how Mark pushes us and, how we uh, go at uh, Landau's and stuff like that. I, so every morning I put uh, the CBD lotion on my, my hips, my neck, my shoulders. My t- it, it's basically lotion. All right, I basically use it as lotion for real, for real, to really get that healing recovery, you know, for the next day or for the day of for that practice. Okay, that's good. Um, how do you see this fight playing out on the 10th? Um, I, like always, me coming out on top, me winning in in, in a vicious, uh, fashionable way. Um, me going home with two two checks, if not three checks, you know, because I come for the whole thing and not for the half. And you know, me being able to go home and finally see my family. Um, my my baby brother birthday was two days ago. My my niece birthday was a couple weeks ago. So it, it's it's hard not being able to see him. You know, just hear him over the phone and. You know, they tell them you miss me, or they, she, you know, my niece said, Uncle Tay Tay, you coming home today? You know, stuff like that, you know, pull on your heartstrings. But I'm just really excited to show the world, show my family that I haven't really been out. I haven't been out here just on vacation. I've been out here training. I've been out here working. I've been pushing myself hard every day. I've been pushing my teammates, and they, and they push me back. And, you know, I'm in a great place, and I'm just ready to, I'm just ready to shine. I'm just ready to shine. Now, we were talking a little bit about this off air. Uh, if you go out there and get the win, uh, you have a name in mind for your next opponent, don't you? Uh, as far as if, 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 if everything works out, I guess uh, that's still going to go according to plan if everything goes well? Well, when everything goes well. Uh, we don't <laughs> necessarily have a, a name yet. You know, some people joke around and bring Gunther, but I don't think he's going to take that fight. You know, tell the truth. Even if I did call, call Gunther out, uh, 
I would have loved for him to be uh, my debut fight, but the guy that I'm fighting now has over 20 fights. So me going back down to Gunther is just, just going to look bad on my brand. Now, if he wants to fight and he, he and he wants to fight me, that's a different story. I'll accept it all day, but I'm not going to chase him around because he, he already knows what it is. No hard feelings, but it is what it is. It's business, not personal, you know. But if Gunther wants that work, Gunther can get that work. But other than Gunther, we don't really have anybody right now. I'm going to sit down with my coaches and my uh, managing crew. And we're going to come out, come out with a name. And after I get this win, I'm calling out whoever I need to call out. Well, I don't know if you've seen the betting odds for, for his fight. Uh, he's a huge underdog against Davey Ramos. Uh, Ramos is like minus 700 or something like that. I don't know if you ca- caught that. Yeah. See, but, see, the thing is, like you guys said, it's nothing personal. It's business. You can't really, like... You can't you can't write Gunther off, man. Cause I've I've seen him beat people that I'm just like, what? Like he beat me, and I'm just what? And you know he he he's a really tough guy. Uh, he doesn't give up. Uh, I don't even think he'd be all the way there. You know he just he just goes. And you know I looked at Davey. Well, well, I'm sorry, no disrespect if you watch this or when he's watch I don't know how to pronounce his name, but you know. We'll see how he how he um, how he feels with this Denver air. You know, it's, it's a whole other level because he has really good stand. He has cool stand up, but second round he starts to gas out. So when you go against somebody named Gunther, and if you ain't got that stamina, he's going to keep pushing forward. I mean, you got you got to put him to sleep by with chokes like that one dude did, or you just I mean you just got to outwork him. And if you ain't used to this air. Yeah, you're going to be outworking yourself. This, this is an awesome card. I can't wait for it. It's going to be next Saturday, November 10th, UFC Fight Night 139. Devontae, always a pleasure, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. All right, big, uh, big one, too. So I changed my Instagram name. So I saw that. Yeah what, yeah, what prompted that? Um, I don't, you know, I, just when I, when I think tomorrow, I, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I just meditate to myself. And whatever feels right, it feels right. So it's not. I don't want to just be king of the cage, you know. Cause I changed it from K L T C to K underscore O underscore E underscore King Cage, cause it means king of everything. Anything and everything I do, I will be the greatest. Thing. And that's my mindset. So that was pretty much my uh, I G name, but it's K I N G K A G. So starting over K underscore O underscore E underscore k-i-n-g-k-i-g-e and i want to give a big shout out to uh turp house it really really uh it's been a really big help uh mile high cryotherapy beast coast uh unlimited quest nutrition um uh, virus uh shoot uh the, 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 the uncle jack uh yes i believe uh i believe that's it you know hopefully nobody hit me up like hey bro like we're yanking you because you ain't give us a shout out but uh same thing on twitter uh uh same name of twitter with the uh, instagram but uh big shout out to everybody shout out to my city uh cleveland shout out to factory x shout out to all my coach shout out to all my teammates and shout out to my teammates out in uh cleveland ohio and you know cleveland stand up 216 we out here